Growing Idaho. More people means more traffic and slower commutes. How much slower? Our Joe Paris hit the road to show us how drive times all across the valley are now changing. As thousands and thousands of people have moved into the Treasure Valley over the last several years, a big conversation from Idahoans is about commute times. Is it really getting as bad, though, as people say? Well, this morning we're going to test it out. We're driving here from downtown Caldwell all the way down I-84 to the city of trees to test how long the commute takes. And then we're going to compare our commute this morning to the commute of years past. So why don't we just hop inside the car and we are going to take the morning commute from Caldwell to Boise. Traffic now. On the freeway as you're coming out of Cannon County into Ada County, we're looking better there. We're about five minutes into our commute, and as you can see, we finally hit some slowdown. Uh, we really didn't get far out of Caldwell. And this is the part that people complain about, the backup, and it's going to be slow and go now into Boise. But we want to know from the experts, is this worse here in 2019 than we've seen in the last five or ten years? And if so, how significantly? So is it worse than four or five years ago yes because we've added a lot of people so it is getting it is getting busier out there marianne waldinger is the principal planner at compass that's the community planning association that has been tracking commute times and traffic numbers since the early 2000s absolutely we have seen increases in volumes let's take a look at three major traffic routes in the valley eagle road chinden boulevard and our drive on i-84 between caldwell and boise here you can see compass data of average weekday speeds on i-84 from Caldwell to Boise. You can see that the roads get really busy around 7 a.m. and the average speed in 2017 dipped about five miles per hour slower than it was in 2013. In the evening around 5 p.m., Boise to Caldwell has a similar slowdown and average driving speeds drop a few miles per hour here too. On northbound Eagle Road between State Street and 94, you can see here, speeds remain fairly consistent between 2013 and 2017 with expected slowdowns during those commute times. Southbound shows the same pattern of slowed speeds in recent years, but headed this direction, travel times are slightly slower. Data shows a similar pattern on US 2026 Chinden Boulevard, and over the past five years, there has been driver volume increases, and as a result, travel time increases. Most trouble spots are west of Eagle Road, where the road changes there from two lanes down to one in each direction. It's about a 10% increase in travel time. But remember, that's all the weekdays of a particular year. So you have good days and you have really, really bad days. And so that kind of starts to average itself out a little bit. The Compass data shows drive times have slowed, but Waldinger says overall changes aren't dramatic. And our drive is a good example of that. Compass data from 2017 shows our morning commute drive on the interstate should take us about 29 minutes, and we were pretty close. Exactly 30 minutes into our commute from Caldwell, a lot of drivers are joining I-84 East from the Meridian on ramps, and with that, we now again see traffic starting to back up. I know oftentimes we expect to see, oh my goodness, it should be you know, this really high number, and, and again, when you average it over all the weekdays, we're not seeing it, but we definitely have when we have a bad day, we have a really bad day. <laughs> a closer look at the data, though, shows that drive times over the years have increased more so during the evening commute. For instance, on I-84 from Boise to Caldwell, the real trend is volume increase from 2003 to 2018. Thousands and thousands of more drivers have translated into an increase of 12 minutes of commute time. Eagle Road from State to I-84 in the evening has seen an increase of 11 minutes from 2006 to 2018. And from 2007 to 2018, evening drive on Chinden from Caldwell to downtown Boise has increased by 28 minutes. So in terms of major commutes, this route right here has seen the biggest change, getting slower and slower for commuters. And Waldinger believes that the solution for improving travel times revolves around public transportation and continuing infrastructure improvements. Yes, public transportation is definitely something we need to in invest in. Cities with a lot of people in congestion have public transportation, but they still have congestion too. It, it definitely won't solve the issue, but it at least provides an option to folks, and we should be, we should be doing what we can to, to support it. Projections show that as more and more people move into the Treasure Valley, drivers will see even more of a slowdown. I suspect that we will see uh, if we add another roughly 300,000 people to our area by 2040. I, I suspect that we will see commute times 
um, peak a little bit during those peak hours. And these popular routes will see some of the biggest increases in travel time. We as a community need to get serious about everything, all facets of our transportation system. So our morning commute took about roughly 50 minutes to get from downtown Caldwell to downtown Boise. And as we showed you, that's a pretty average commute time. But over the next 15 to 20 years, as more and more people move into the Treasure Valley, those commute times, they are going to get longer. There are, of course, hopes that there will be improvements to infrastructure as well as public transportation, but time will only tell. It's up to you, though, for now, the commuters to decide. Will you sit in traffic every day or will you find new ways around it? Reporting from Caldwell to Boise, Joe Paris, Idaho's News Channel 7.